idea of the victimized and the victimizers has in many ways seeped into the societal consciousness that we all share and really has become a self-fulfilling prophecy. If you see it, you believe it. And if you believe it, you will become it. But I want to let you guys in on a little secret that the feminists would be terrified if you actually knew. Because the dirty little secret is that subscribing to this feminist, toxic, disordered mentality is the only thing that is keeping feminism, the rotten radical type that we have today, keeping it alive. Feminism is only thriving because women have chosen to believe that they are victims of men or of the patriarchy or of traditional feminine roles like being a wife or a mother. You see, if women all woke up one day and decided, you know, we're like not oppressed, especially in America, and our lives are far better than women even 200 years ago, if women all did that, they'd realize that they didn't need feminism. Because feminism expends most of its resources trying to convince you, girls and guys of course, that you need it. Feminism needs women to need it. You see, it's this blue-haired movement is really just a big bully trying to convince women that they have no ability to make their lives better.